Johnny Tree Nguyen. How are you, mate? I'm good, Scott. How are you, man? I'm very well, thanks. Thank you so much for doing this. We're actually meeting for the very first time, aren't we? Yeah. Um, yeah. Amazing. I, I've seen, you know, your clips on the internet plenty of time, but, you know, we're actually first time meeting over the uh, internet. <laughs> Yes, this is the way, especially these days. I myself have watched many of your clips and movies. Um, I have to say that you are one of the most phenomenal kickers that I have ever seen. I mean, people say about me that I defy gravity, and I say, no, no, you need to look at uh, Johnny Nguyen, because <laughs> you've got, <laughs> like, it's like you stay up a little bit extra than most people. It's like you go up and then you stay there for just a bit, and then you come down. Uh, thank you, Scott. I think, I think um, I, I'm, I'm amazed by you because, you know, your body figure is like, you know, not, not like mine, you know, because I have a more slender and it's, it's easier to get more air. <laughs> you but you, you, yeah, I mean, your stuff's amazing how, you know, you can carry, you know, a lot of uh, momentum and speed, especially for, you know, your size. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> I, I appreciate you saying that. I will, I will take that on board. <laughs> I'd love to know what your martial arts background is and how eventually that led you into the movie business. Yeah, sure. Um, I, I first started uh, training martial art with my uh, father. He, he um, learned from his father. And that, that's my grandfather who's kind of started it all in, in the family. Yeah. Um, so in his past, he learned many different style of martial art um, from, uh, you know, from more of the... Chinese to Vietnamese to Cambodian martial art as well. And um, basically he gets, he's like a, a very passionate martial art. So he puts it all together into a specific style um, for the family. So oh, yeah. that's what I learned. Yeah, from, from a very young age, like um, when I was nine. That's kind of like a plus for, for, for me to, uh, it's like my background you know, as a good base. And then as I, as I became grow uh, older, um, my father encouraged me to go out and learn more because that's what he did. And that's what, um, you know, his, his brothers or my uncle did, right? My, my uncle, they all go out and, and learn more. Yeah. So that's what I did. I went out and learned um, Aikido, Tai Chi, a few other Kung Fu style. And, um, uh, I ended up with uh, Wushu. Okay. And then, I, yeah, and then I became very passionate about Wushu. So I, I trained a lot and I got into uh, the U.S. Um, uh, national team. And I competed for about three years. So um, I'm sorry, sorry to interrupt. Are you growing up in, in Vietnam or, or America? I, I, I grew up in Vietnam till about when I was nine. Okay. And then I uh, moved to America. That's when I started to, you know, even train more. Yeah, because with Vietnam, I, you know, little kid, do a little bit, train a little bit, but it's like more, you know, not, not, not doing much. <laughs> just a lot of play. Being a kid. Being a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just being a kid. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I saw my, my father... Uh, teach my cousin and stuff and you know kind of learn along but it's more like that and 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 i got kind of um my first real fight i saw was be between my uncle and my father <laughs> when really? i was a kid yeah oh wow that must have been <laughs> so shocking like, whoa <laughs> real fight yeah i was i was yeah i was scared <laughs> yeah man i would have been yeah yeah, I was like a little kid and they were like going at it, you know, because they're more, both they're both good at martial art, right? <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, kung fu fights in the family for real. <laughs> yeah, so that, that was cool. <laughs> you know, now that I look back at it, right? Yeah. It was just right 
I, I uh, as I remember, it was right in the kitchen. You know, that, that was just going at it. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. For like maybe a, a like 30 seconds or a minute or so, but, you know, before they just stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I go, wow, that was cool. You know, I mean, later on, after all the scare, uh, got away from from me you know and i was like whoa shoot that was cool <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing when i when i first uh, came to the state i went i came to beaumont texas oh, and there was nothing there that, that was just plain old nothing <laughs> and then my you know it in the winter it got so cold right and it got amazing but uh it yeah. got too cold yeah it, 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 it's it's funny how it works texas yeah. of all places yeah, but i remember it got so cold that we were living in a trailer home but the toilet froze <laughs> with a block of ice <laughs> you got to break through the ice with that uh i mean uh, how do we two? go to the toilet <laughs> when it's an Block of ice. I mean, I don't know if any. Have, I don't know if you've been to London, but does it get that cold? I mean, but <laughs> I'm starting to think I haven't lived until I've done a poo on a block of ice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need to do. Uh, I was like, uh, Mom, Dad, it's a it's a block of ice. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, well, let, let me ask you a bit more about your martial arts. I detect. I mean, I could have sworn that you were got a taekwondo background. I, I feel like you've got taekwondo kicks. I see the wushu as well. I pick up, up with uh, with my friends actually because you know when I uh, went into uh, the stunt work business yeah. or the stunt career, uh, all my friends were all the stunt friends. Most of them were all um, taekwondo guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're kind of training in your style of kicks. Yeah. Yeah, so we're all, we're kind of training, training together for quite a while, and uh, and exchanging techniques, like you know, showing each other. So you, you know, you have some kicks that I have never seen before, and they are exclusive to you, which is very <laughs> difficult to do, even to the yeah, point yeah. where still now, I mean, having seen it for the first time like ten years ago. I don't really see anyone else doing this one particular kick other than you. It's crazy kick. <laughs> we'll get to it. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of, you know, while well, training with my uh, friends in, um, at this time I was in Thailand because I was working on Tony John's movie and I, I, yeah. I met some uh, action guys who, who came from France. Oh, yeah. You know, and start training together and was exchanging techniques and, and, uh, um, Trying to trying out new things, and I go, okay, let me see if I can merge this kick and this kick together, you know. And so I found this kick, and I said, hey, look at this, I I can do this one, and and uh, it was like something that kind of worked for for me, but it didn't work for anybody else because it's, it's like a merging of <laughs> of two different things, and you kind of need backgrounds of of you know different martial arts, you know, yeah. to so yeah, your body can understand it. I, a friend of mine just uh, introduced me to uh, a TV show called Mortal Kombat, right? Oh, the TV show? The TV show, Mortal Conquest, Kombat. Conquest, Mortal Kombat. Yeah, Conquest. exactly, that's yeah. it, that's it. Daniel and Burn. so, yeah, I, I did a demo reel, you know, and I, I sent that in. And I got a call from the, the, the stunt coordinator, you know, I said, hey, uh, we want you to double the, uh, the main villain, uh, Sang Kang or something, uh, the character was. Yeah. I found that in action movie or in stunt work, we do everything that is illegal in real life. We get to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love that. I never, right. never heard it said that way, but yeah. I mean, I found yeah. that, hey, you know, we always wanted to do this in, in, you know, like there's something inside of us, that rebellion side, right? We want to do this stuff, but it's illegal. We can't do this. We can't, 
you know, go shoot guns on the street, drive really fast and beat each other up. We can't do that, right? It's, it's not humane. <laughs> but, but we but can the pretend. Movie, yeah, but we can pretend. So I got, that, that was the one thing that, that, that got me into stunt. I, I want to do that, you know? I want to do some crazy stuff. <laughs> I have a, a funny, uh, an, another side of me, right? At, at yeah. that time, I was still... Uh, a, uh, a singer songwriter really <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay. so i was like i was doing two things that completely opposite <laughs> for for the vietnamese i was a singer songwriter right. or but you know that that wasn't you know action enough for me so yeah. for hollywood i was a stuntman <laughs> yeah. and then uh, so I went to Thailand to, to do, uh, to, to, I was in one of the, you know, of our or concert. So when I was in Thailand, I met, I met an actor there. Uh, he's a Taekwondo guy. Yeah. His name is uh, Don Thai. Yeah. And then he introduced me to his manager. And that, that was just, just about like that. Right. And then so uh, I, I went back to the state and I started working on a few other films. I did, uh, what is it called? Uh, Black, uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, one with Jet Li and uh, the rapper. <laughs> BMX, Cradle to the Grave. Yeah, yeah. Or... Right, yeah, that one. Give us the stones. How many times I gotta tell you people? I'm a businessman. Make me a f offer. Here's your offer. I got that role and I got a fight with Jet Li. And I thought, yeah, what's cool. Jet Li is nice. You know, he's nice. He's quite quiet, but pleasant quiet. And then uh, I go, you know, acting kind of cool. I kind of I kinda like it. <laughs> you know, because there's, there's a little bit of acting within, you know, that, uh, uh, that, that uh, movie, right, for me. Yeah, okay. How I was it working with Jet Li? Well, like I said, he was uh, quiet. Most of the time we were coordinating the stunt with, the, with his stunt double, yeah. right? Yeah. So we're, we're, we're working out the, the, the fight with his stunt double and then um, he's sitting back and, and kind of learning the fight. And he just then sits and watches it, right? He just sits yeah, he and watches watch. it. He doesn't need to practice yeah, it. He, he just, just watches it. He doesn't practice at all. No. It's crazy. It. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. I have a chance to work with Jet Li in a fight and Sammo Hung in a fight, right? When I first came, yeah, when I first came oh, to, cool. to, yeah, Hollywood, I was uh, in this TV series. Uh, Sammo Hung was in this TV series. I forgot the name again. Yeah, Martial Law. Yes, man, you remember everything. You got a great memory. <laughs> no, no, I just don't into this shit, man. <laughs> okay, it. all right. So martial law, and I, I was uh, one of the street thugs that came in to rob the, I think it was 7-Eleven or something like that. And then Sammo Hung was, you know, uh, came in and, and beat us up, right? So I got a fight with, with Sammo. And uh, I was training the whole fight with, uh, with his stunt double, which uh, at the time was Andy Chang. Oh yeah, you probably heard of him. He yeah, yeah. he's been <laughs> on the show. He's been on the show. Oh really? Yeah, great guy. So I uh, I did this the, all the choreography with with him, and then Samuel came out of nowhere. I don't know where. I think he'd been watching the, the TV monitor somewhere in the back room or in his trailer, and he just remember. He just remembered the whole fight. He was just doing the fight. <laughs> he didn't need to practice. <laughs> See, that's crazy to me and to you as well. Like I, I, I worked that. with Jet Li and it was the same thing. I rehearsed the fight with his stunt double and he was just watching. And then he got up and he did it perfectly. And I thought, how do you do that? <laughs> Samo is the same. I know. But for me, I don't know about you. I just, I have to go through the motions and then I've got it. But I can't just watch. I need to go through the motions. Of course, yeah, of course. Me, me too. You know, like, your your body need to, to you know, kind of rehearse feel it, it, right? You feel it, <laughs> and, and feel the timing, especially with whoever you're fighting, right? Everybody's yeah. a little different. 
But uh, you think, I think secretly that, they're backstage around the corner where no one can see doing, doing it. With they're the doing stuff, that. Secretly, <laughs> 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 they doing it. I don't know. <laughs> he didn't rehearse it with me, but he just came out and it was just roll camera and he didn't do it. Yeah. You know, like hundred percent like, full speed. Yeah, full speed. Yeah. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> After, uh, you know, the Cradle to the Grave film, I, I started taking acting classes. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, and then I got, uh, I, I got work on um, the movie Spider-Man. That's a stunt double. The second one. As the Spider-Man. Yeah. That's the Spider-Man guy. The, uh, yeah. For uh, the fight scenes. Yeah. Um, and then so after that, I got a, I got a call from, from Thailand. Right. From the manager. So they say. Hey, uh, they found out that I was in Spider-Man for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> and then uh, at that time, I just watched um, Tony Jaa Ong Bak, the movie. Yeah. And I go, oh, man, that was a cool movie, you know? It's like um, a different page, you know? Like, yeah. like we turn a page to a different kind of martial art film. Yeah. Pure violence. I think, I, yeah, we, we got, you know, we have to credit that to, to Omba, you know, and the yeah. whole team. Uh, yeah. um, that they made it a lot stronger, you know, a lot more, uh, I, I guess, believable, you know, when, when it comes to hits and stuff like that. It almost yeah. went back to Bruce Lee territory in terms of the way that they shot it. It was just like the cameras all the way back here. And you were watching Tony Jaa do his thing. He didn't need a stunt double because, you know, he's just a phenomenon. But, yeah, the power that he was hitting people with was breathtaking, wasn't it? Yes. I mean, especially before that, movies, martial art movies weren't like that, right? Well, they kind of were a little bit the Hong Kong, like Sammo Hung, he would hit people in the face. Like Eastern Condors, Yun Biao kicking that guy in the helmet. But not this much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, exactly, exactly. I mean, we've seen it. We've seen it before. It's yeah. just not so intense, right? Yeah. It's not, it wasn't so intense, yeah. not this much. And so I was like, wow, that was cool. Because a friend of mine showed me the film. And I said, wow, that's a, that's a fresh approach. Yeah. Anyway, just like soon after that, it was like a, a few weeks after that I saw the movie, I got a call from Thailand and said, hey, uh, they want you to you know, come over and, and play a villain to Tony Jasso. And I go, hell yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> you know, that'd be fun. I, had a, I came to Thailand and <laughs> I started to rehearse with, with uh, Tony for about a week, you know, but, but it was not an intense rehearse. You know, it was just like a little bit of day, a little bit of day, go home, you know, have fun. He's very nice and, and quiet a guy. Yeah. Uh, and then when it comes to uh, the day, the, the funniest thing is the day they, they put me in that wardrobe, right? Because that pants that I wore and you saw there, yeah. it's made out of like alligator skin or something. And it was so tight, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not like, you know, your typical martial art you know, gi or anything like that. You know, I, I, thought, I thought that you were a bit restricted, actually. <laughs> that thing was so tight and, you know, it was hot in, in that studio, right? Yeah. And then, so I was sweating under there <laughs> and how sticky it was. I think, I think at one of the kick, I torn the, the pants apart, right? <laughs> we had to have... <laughs> yeah. And then we had to take a break to, to the... Uh, a wardrobe people can stitch this together. Yeah. But yeah, that was uh, <laughs> one of the most mom moment, like memorable stuff for me was the pants. <laughs> Every time I see this fight. <laughs> Did you see what he was doing before this with that one, that one that they shot? Were you aware of that? Yeah, I think um, it was, uh, um, it was prepared separately. And they shot yeah, it separately. Okay. And they rehearsed it for like a month and shot it for like four days or something like that. But yeah. each day was one take. Right. 
Oh, okay. So, um, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that he had an, a night's sleep between each take. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, that was that was just, you know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is he hitting you hard when he's doing this stuff? They actually had a stunt double for me. Um, and they, they call him, uh, uh, I think, Johnny Stunt or something like that. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I, I it was uh, funny because I never had a stunt double, you know. I, I started, at that time, I was a stunt man. I was a double. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm having a stunt double. Okay, great. <laughs> so every time they, they're throwing big hits and stuff, uh, they'll bring in the stunt double. So this, for instance, here there yeah like that yeah yeah well you may as well if it's the back of your head but I tell you what he, he he doesn't mess about hitting your arm does he here bang yeah 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 <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah but it's uh, it's it's a good fight we you know very smooth not you know, no problem we i didn't hit him accidentally or anything like that he didn't hit me accidentally this was like one of the most easiest thing. That's a beautiful I've had, kick though, there, man. That the, those trousers, they're they're doing okay <laughs> for you at this point. And no, no, they're, they're like <laughs> pain in the ass for me. <laughs> I wish, you know, I like in at this time in the I say in the future, if I'm ever doing a movie and I ever have anything to say, I would yeah. start with pants and and shoes. You know, Ex too. Absolutely, that's the way it is. Yeah, for me all the time. So this yeah. is the stunt man here getting bushed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah. is stunt man. Right. You know, because th that's the two most important things, right? Pants and shoes. <laughs> you don't yeah. have your footing, and if it's too restricted, it, you, and especially me, I'm a, more of a kicker, and it's very difficult. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's the stunt man again. Uh, I know it's a stuntman going through the window, and uh, who can blame you? It does a backflip off the guy's face, and then he goes through the window. It's amazing. You know, but I, I think Tony is, is like, got a lot of control. I don't think that really hurt the stuntman at all. You know, he can, he can do. No, can but do just, just the idea to like do a backflip <laughs> off his face, and he goes through a window is like crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, Ong Bak blew you away, blew me away. But like Tom Young Gung, they took it up another level for that one. The fights in that are even more epic, in my opinion. I mean, <laughs> they're both very similar. They're both really good films, man. Right, right. The action is just on a different level, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't watch the, the same Tom, Tom Young Gung the same as I watch Ong Bak because I'm unbiased, right? I'm just a yeah. Audience, when I'm watching on back, then you go, I'm in it, so I can't say, oh, yeah, it's good or not. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I do like it, <laughs> yeah, but no, I think I, they're, they're both they're both great, they both exist on the same level for me. They're like as good as one another, but of course, the first is always going to be the first, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's like a first mover advantage. First of all, can I say that you're a very competent actor, and we'll get onto that later. I, I know you do a, a, ver, a variety of different roles, and I didn't know about the singer-songwriting, so that's another string to the bow. It's <laughs> amazing. But what I love about your fight sequences, and we'll get onto this when we talk about The Rebel, is, yeah, it's pretty full contact, the way you're hitting people. Now, is that something that you took from the Tony Jar experience, or is it something that is more acceptable in Thailand and Vietnam and places like that? Yeah, I, I always like it to be more realistic. Uh, yeah. I think uh, it, it has to go with culture, um, how, how, how we were brought up. Like in, let's say the, the culture different between like a Chinese and Vietnam, is Chinese a little bit flowery, right? It's a little bit more um fantasized yeah vietnam is a little bit more realistic culturally yeah so whatever art forms that 
that we do, we like to make it a little more realistic. Uh, and I think that was more of the, the background. You know, I, I come from a background where if I'm looking at a Hong Kong film, some of the realistic, more realistic one I like. Some of the more too, you know, flowery one, I appreciate them, you know, yeah. but I tend to get drawn to the more full on contact one. Yeah. So that was, yeah, that was what, when, when I watch on back and um, that, that's why I like it. And so when I came and made the rebel, I want to, you know, make it more in a style that I like, you know, style that is more, a little more realistic. Of course, there is a creative license. We have to make it you know, in a way that is eye candy. Yeah. Um, but put a little more power and impact in there. Put so, a little more juice on it. Yeah, a little more juice. Yeah, a little more gas, right? <laughs> anyway, in 2004, when I did the Tam Yum Kung, I came back to Vietnam again just to see how the how it evolved as in the you know, film industry. And there's still nothing there. There's still no, no movie theaters, no nothing. There was anything, the whole country have uh, 20 movie theaters, you know? And, and so uh, I go, well, let's go back to Vietnam, make a movie. <laughs> so I, I wrote The uh, the Rebel. Yeah. Um, and then I, uh, I, t I told my brother, I go, let's go back to Vietnam. And I sent out the script to, you know, my brothers and everybody I know in the film industry that is Vietnamese, you know, a Vietnamese American, this like Dustin Nguyen and. I know Dustin, I work with Dustin. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, we, we, we all went back to Vietnam and said, hey, you know, we're gonna work on a tight budget, but hey, what the heck, we'll have fun, right? We'll, we'll have a lot of fun. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be like the Wild West because there's not a lot of stuff there. You know, there's no, like, uh, the cruise is very, you know, there's not a lot of experience. So we're going to have to uh, put a lot of our energy in. You know, anybody that I, I called, I said, you know, it's going to take a lot of dedication for, for you to carry this through because it's going to be painful. You know, there's no trailers, there's no... No, none of that usual Hollywood yeah. stuff you get, you know, yeah. craft service. Forget it, you know. <laughs> no trailers, no craft service, uh, no chairs. <laughs> oh, and did I forget to tell you, I'm actually going to kick you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that one was real. And, you know, I just put a guy, a little pad on the guy's back and just, um, you know. Yeah. Let's see if we can see the fear in his eye as he waits to get kicked. He knows it's coming, look. He knows it's coming. And it's, no, right, there's a moment. Look, yeah, there's a moment. Like, look at where he's going to land. <laughs> there's a moment in his face where you can see that he thinks, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. And then he goes, yeah. hang on, is it coming? Bang. <laughs> Here's the thing is, I, I don't do many takes, right? And I don't rehearse for real. So if, yeah. I, if I do rehearse, I just jump up and tap him in the back. So they know, okay, this is where he's going to hit when, you know, we rehearse the timing. So I put up a gun, a jump, tap. Because uh, if, if we hit too hard in rehearsal, then in, you know, when, when in a take, he, he's not going to act right. You know, he's not going to be, he's going to be unnatural. He's going to be bracing or something like that. Yeah. So I, I don't, I don't, I really <laughs> hit people in rehearsal. <laughs> did, but did he know that he was going to get hit hard or was it a surprise? Yeah, we put him back. Uh, I, I guess they don't really like know that. Uh, they, don't know the, they don't know the full extent. Yes, exactly. You know, you, you okay. don't know the full extent. I'm going to jump up and kick and I'm going to put a back protector on you. One take uh, though, yeah? One take, hopefully? Just one take. Just one take, okay. yeah. Uh, because if we do it again, it's not going to, it's not going to work, right? It's not going to, it's not going to be. But this one, we put a wire on his back and oh, same thing. I'm just going to, 
you yeah. know. Otherwise, uh, he wouldn't fly back. He would just fly back flat. So what's the conversation you've had with him before you've done this kick? Have you said, I'm going to get... Because I know this kick, and I know it's difficult <laughs> to... It's hard to hit with power anyway. So you yeah, just said, yeah. look, I'm going to tap you. It's going to be fine. Yeah. Well, I, I, I said, well, I have to touch you a little bit, okay? And, but I have a lot of control with this kick. Yeah. And I can just, uh, you know, grace... And I, you can see I tap him on the hat, so it's not no sharp. Uh, and is that uh, is that the reason for having the hats? Because it's something to, to hit or not? Is that and just that's also, remember, remember when I say, uh, when I work on Umbach, I said shoes and, and clothing was the most important thing. Yeah. My shoes, my shoe here is made out of a very, uh, like a, a foam, right? Uh, uh, the, the heel. So it's more like a boxing glove, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have yeah, you put so padding I can, I, on the shoe or you just found a shoe that is padded? I, 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 I came to Hoi and I made these shoes. I made the shoes so that they, we replaced the padding, right? In t- instead of really hard uh, heel, we replaced it with like a foam heel. So that like... The, the toe, you mean, on, on the toe? The whole... The whole, the whole oh, back on the, the the grip. The whole back, yeah, the whole grip, right? Because if I ever hit, um, like the toe is not gonna hurt as much as if there was a a hard uh, heel. Oh, the, right? the, 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 the hard, rim. Yeah, the rim. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna break some collarbones or make some uh, bruises. But yeah. if I just made it pad, then um, then I can, you know. And I can, you can see I can control my foot where I'm not really hitting them with the toe. I kind of flex it. You see it? Right oh, at the last right. moment, I oh, point yeah. the toe up. Yeah. I do that okay. quite a bit of time. So I pat them with the, with the pad. You see it? Yeah. So I flex, I point the toe and then I flex the toe and I hit them with the pad. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky. <laughs> I can see that this wasn't take number one though, because that is already broke. <laughs> yeah. so that's at least take yeah. number two yeah but i i do the, that so if you put yeah. the rubber sole on does that is it's still okay for your grip and to take off or does it rip off yeah actually like our slippers you know many of them are made out of these um foam heels so some of some of the shoes are made from these the light, lighter ones. Is it made so, in a factory, what... or are you like gluing something on the bottom? You see, in 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 Hoi An, the place where we shot it, they make clothing, they make shoes, they made them overnight. So they're very light. The shoes are very light. They're yeah. grippy. They're much more grippy than like if you have a hard, like dress shoe, right? They're not. Yeah. They're not grippy at all. Oh, that's really interesting, man. That's really interesting. I've seen this done before by Jackie Chan in the police story days where he they had like, you know, like the taekwondo boots that you would put on for sparring. He would yeah. almost put a shoe like that over it so he could kick people in the head quite hard. But ah, okay. I don't think I've come across anyone using having a shoe manufactured for for all of the fights, I, I suppose, yeah? Yeah, it's so the all the fights you, you see that we do, uh, you know, we, we manufacture the shoes. We change the, the heel. Like, if we, we can go out, the one the one I'm working on right now with, um, um, uh, it's that we get a shoe and then we come in the factory and we ask them to replace the heel. Like, just, you know, they just, if there's a really nice shoe that we want for the movie, we just buy that shoe and change the the bottom and uh, try that. <laughs> <laughs> this is yeah. the new way. I love it. <laughs> now you can kick people in the face because just like just like a boxing yeah. pad, right? No. Hopefully, like they let me, I'll say, listen, uh, Johnny Nguyen, he's told me that if I kick you in the face hard with this shoe on, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> if it hurts, you gotta blame him, not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but don't don't rehearse right that's oh, what yeah. i do right because uh 
in, in the rebel you, you if you you see another footage that um, yeah. i have a, another singer who who's very famous right in in, in the vietnamese and uh, i go hey you know you want to be in an action movie you can play in an action movie, you know, and uh, we'll, we'll double you for the fight scene. But, you know, some of the stuff you have to you have to show your face, of course, only the wide shot or stuff like that. We can double you. So he said, yeah, it's cool. So he went on. And in this scene, I have to. It's this scene with Dustin in it, in, in, uh, in my uh, apartment in, in the film. But I had to kick him in the face. And I show him the shoe. Right, I take out my shoe and I say, "Look, it's padded. You see, it's very soft. <laughs> so I'm gonna kick you in the face. Don't worry, it's padded. And then I'm gonna be, go light, the real camera, and I go, bam! <laughs> so like, because we needed that. We we can't That's, fake it. We can't fake yeah. the hit. You know, especially if you. It's amazing. You know. Yeah, if you're not overlapping the hip like in the back or something like that, you just profile. Then there's no way to, you know, there's no way to act it out, right? So it's like, bam. hey, listen, <laughs> nobody said making action films was easy. Of course, yeah, you, you're gonna get hit. We're gonna get hit. <laughs> yeah. And um, normally they're martial artists though, and not singers. <laughs> <laughs> You know, at the end of the fight, at the end of the movie, the singer, he told me, I would never do an action movie ever again. <laughs> <laughs> that was his word, I quote. <laughs> I would never do an action movie ever again. <laughs>
yeah. I supposed to point my toe. And then this is this is what happened because he's not a, a he's not trained in taking hits like like movie wise, right? Yeah. So if I if I just like miss him and, and overlap, he doesn't know how to react. He said, Johnny, just hit me, right? <laughs> but if I would uh, swing on full, you know, hit him, uh, it wouldn't work. So we did this take quite a few times because I, I don't want to hit him because this, this kick is quite a lot of momentum, right? But he can react. Yeah. Um, so he just keep on wanting to move in. I said, back out so I can just right overlap you and then you react, right? Is that the one you fall over if your foot comes to a dead stop? I should imagine. Yeah, yeah, because there's a lot of I'm carrying a lot of momentum through. I can't just stop, right? Yeah. So, uh, but he's getting tired of you know um, not getting the tech right. So he just move in. So he just want to get it hit. <laughs> <laughs> so I go through a spin. I stretch my leg out, and I saw him move his head in. You know, I go, oh shit. So I. Flex my toe like this, so I could just graze him on top of the head. Uh, oh, cool. and that, that works. See, that, that's, <laughs> you know, you're good when you can think that fast when you're moving this fast jump. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you if you can control, yeah, just just get a split second. <laughs> yeah, split second to uh, point your toe up. It looks like you're on a wire, but you're not, are you? No, no, I'm just stepping on the tree. <laughs> just stepping on the tree, and it's that easy look. <laughs> That's cool, man. Have you got? A, have you done gymnastics? No, no, I've, um, I've, I haven't done any. Uh, I mean, the only thing I can do is like a backflip. <laughs> this is a, and, uh, basically a, a no-handed cartwheel with a twist, isn't it? An array, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a yeah, it's a cartwheel and then with a twist. That's cool, man. Now I love that because you've got the power powder on the feet, right? And it makes all the difference. Yes, that's uh, one of the trick we gotta do, right? So yeah. we um, we put a little bit of um, dirt on the on the on the foot, and it, it makes sense because it doesn't make sense all the time, like if you in a clean surface. But yeah. here it works because you know we're coming off the dirt. If you if you look at it slowly, it it, it is a, it is a miss. But right, when you watch right. it fast, because yeah, of that yeah. dirt, it, it really gives it that impact, doesn't it? Right, right. She's good. She's a singer <laughs> in Everyone Vietnam. All singers, including you. This is. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, she's a singer for, in Vietnam, and we. Uh, Actually, when I when I came back to Vietnam, I wanted to audition martial artists, right? It's just that um, they're not used to acting, and this, she had to carry a a big part in the film. So we um, we have we got her. So we trained her, but luckily she's very gifted in in in, in martial art. Um, her name is Veronica Ngo, and I trained her I think for uh, almost three months, but it was like two times a day you know we, we train with the whole stunt team two times a day just pushing 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 okay. and if, if you get the right uh motivation and uh, and a person that's gifted we can we can push them uh to 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 a certain level pretty fast yeah she's she's she did a wonderful job for that film actually she absolutely did is he on a wire there that guy and this guy was on a wire yeah, the wire going back. It's on the wire. Oh, that's what I thought because he, he was inhuman. He went back yeah, that, pretty that hard. Guy <laughs> that I love the way you throw that spin kick because it's so wide that you really get to see ah. the beauty of all of it. That's for me. That's that's the beauty of filming fight scenes is is to fill the frame, so right, that right. You know, we've got the, the him one side, you the other. We see the leg yeah. come all the way across, and it looks like it connects. That's that's. Basically. I mean, uh, I guess lucky for me because I come off from a, a movie maker background, so it really helped with everything. You know, I didn't really have to 
it, sometimes you you have a martial art background. You bring a martial art onto a film, and they don't do it exactly look exactly that well, you know, because they have to kind of adapt, you know, to the camera where you have to hit in a certain place or make it a little wider or make it a little bit, you know, stretchy or something like that, you know, make it a easier for the audience to watch, you know. That's a great way of explaining it, actually. Easier for the audience to watch, for the general public. And that's why yeah, the, yeah. the fights in the Bourne movies and modern movies of today with the quick cuts and you don't know what the uh, geography is. That's why I they suck. See. I can't see. What's <laughs> yeah. going on? Yeah. <laughs> you can't see the fight. You can only hear it. Yeah, I mean, we go, oh, well, what's going on? Right? I mean, some yeah. movies are like that. And I, I mean, it's a style. I'm, I have nothing against that. But uh, I do. If, <laughs> but you can see how, why, because sometimes, you know, they, they don't have enough time to train like certain actors. If we, if we don't do that, it, it reveals, you know, faults. Exactly. But when they do it, like, here's, a, here's an example. Eco Aways from The Raid. They, he did a film with Peter Berg, who I think is a great director and I'm a big fan. Please give me a job if you see this. Don't hate me. <laughs> <laughs> the, way, the way he cut the fight scene that Eco does in Mile 22, it's like, well, why are you doing that? Because it's Eco Aways. Oh, <laughs> you can do that. Yeah, right, right. He can, he can do just one take with it, right? You could have yeah. done it on that, a wide shot for the CCTV camera if you wanted, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing, right? If we can train the actors or we can do it in long take, it's, it's much better just to, to let the audience see it. You know, we can get the speed and the timing to, uh, up to make it real, then, then we'll do it like that. Sometimes, you know, if you get new actors and they, they can't, you know, it's just, it'll take time. And so you gotta, whatever, you know, snap. Yeah. Well, the producers <laughs> are always saying, oh, we want this quick cutty type of thing because that's what the audience wants. And I've experienced that on some movies. I worked on one of the Wolverine movies and the stunt guys cut together the fights, the traditional sort of way that we would. And it was amazing and everyone loved it. And then by the time the film was released, they'd given it that quick cutty nonsense. And I was like, what the hell was wrong with it before? <laughs> everyone loved it. Hugh Jackman loved it. And now you've released it like this. And then I've had other producers talk about wanting that and that's what the audience wants. But then I, d I think they were always wrong because look at the success of John Wick without that quick cutty nonsense. And look at the success yeah. of Extraction, which was directed by Sam Hargrave, who is an ex-stuntman, mm -hmm. you know, where you can see everything. Yeah. You know, yeah. they were just wrong, in my opinion. But enough about yeah, me so ranting. I need you to talk me through this. Can you tell me what you said to this stuntman previously? <laughs> so, uh, for this one, I didn't hit him for real. I did, I did not hit him for real at all. Because I come from a visual effect background, I, oh, really? I know, like, yeah, like I, I can do visual effects, right? So I, um, I'm not hitting the guy at all. So I, I have the guy jump up and I hit a, the guy with a, um, like a padded stick, you know, but that was on a different take. For and real? Then, yeah. So I, I'm hitting a guy with a padded stick so that, you know, he get a hit for real but not with my leg. So then I'm doing another take, just kicking, basically kicking air, you know, so that, and then we merge the two shots together. So hang on a minute. Is he doing that in front of a green screen? Yeah, he's doing that with the green screen. Same place, right? We set up a green screen. We just said, here I am. So just jump up, trying to hit me. And I'm, I'm actually standing there with a stick in my, you know, hand with, you know, one of those padded stick where you train with, right? So I paint that stick green too and just whack him in the face. And then I replace that stick with my you foot. Kidding <laughs> me. <Damn laughs> because I can't believe <laughs> this, mate. This is incredible. <laughs> That's amazing. 
Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Try that on our next film. <laughs> yeah. Christ, I was thought for sure that you'd smashed yeah. the hell out of them. That would knock him out for, <laughs> for well, a while. <laughs> You and know, the you just you, gone like this. Yeah, yeah so some kick you just can't kick people for real with, right? I mean, they would just. I be thought maybe you, you made a mistake and just hit him harder than you intended. No, 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 no. That that would have break his jaw. <laughs> so, hey, this yeah. is incredible. I have never. Yeah. So everything you've done the shot with this guy, and the train is there. And you've just done yeah. the kick with no one there. Yeah. And, and then, then yeah. And you've then, got that guy to run in against the green screen, but the camera is tracking, so. Yeah, so it's the same shot. I kicked this guy and then I kicked this guy, right? But then the guy that's running in is, is a green screen guy. Yeah. Good trick. <laughs> Mate, I'm impressed. I am big time impressed. And I've spoke to a lot of, a lot of talented people. And this is this is episode number thirty or whatever, and this is the first time I have been this shocked about something. So did you have to do any? Like it almost looks like your foot does hit something, but are you taking a frame out or or what? Um, so we film it in 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 in, in slow mo, right? So we just I just fr give it an extra frame there. I just. Just you for know. the foot or for the whole of your yeah, body? Yeah, just for the foot hit to hit, just give it an extra frame, one more froze frame, so that it looked like a stutter, you know? Man, I am so impressed by that. That is incredible, mate. <laughs> but this is... <laughs> this one, same, same thing. You know, I'm kicking the guy that is, you know, I'm whacking the guy with the, with the green same stick. Thing. Yeah, and then um, I'm... You're flipping then, so how, <laughs> how, how do you make sure that your foot is the right height? Um, it, I kind of do it uh, just to, to aim first and then just throw it. And then because he's a green screen guy, we can, then we can just align him. You so know? you do we the can kick align first him. and then you're lining up his head with where yeah. the foot would be. Yeah, so we film the green screen guy in the full figure, right? So we can uh, just align him. Oh, to yeah. make the contact quite easy. <laughs> this is I almost don't want to release this episode now. I want to keep this information for myself. <laughs> you know, it's uh, yeah, it's easy, man. You know, try try that on your next film. Just getting you know some crazy out kicks and whack them in the head. <laughs> People say, "How you do that?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And do it slow mo right in the face. Bow. <laughs> I bet it, it looks like the stick did hurt though. <laughs> yeah, well, it hurt a little bit. You, know, but, you, know, you need something. Yeah, something need to, you know, make that. How big is the stick? It's one of those training sticks where you have them in the dojo all the time with the wooden can uh, handle. And then it's, uh, it's like, uh, uh, what, what do you call it? Foam like this. It's like a, it's like a bat, right? But bigger, look at that, and just whack them across the face with it. <laughs> right, so, now listen, so when you're on the location and you do the kick, do you film the green screen guy in a studio at a different time or on the on film the it there. with the light? Film, film, film it at the same place, you know. Yeah. So, so, so the green because screen. all you need is just a backdrop. Right, you just drop the backdrop wherever you shoot it, right next to it, same angle, just shoot it. So yeah, the lighting just perfectly match. By the time <laughs> I get the green screen up, the sun will have changed. <laughs> <laughs> Set up the green screen on the side somewhere. Really right? like this. <sighs> no, you don't even have to shoot it exactly the place, right? You can shoot it like 20 meters away. Yeah. Okay? As long as it's the same angle, the sun is gonna be similar, you know, in the similar back uh, environment, color is gonna be similar. <laughs> seriously impressive, man, especially on a low budget and everything. Congratulations to you. That is um, now this episode is gonna come out, and I'm afraid everyone's gonna be doing it. 
<laughs> well, it's good. It's good to share stuff, right? Yeah. And we, you know, the audience can watch, you know, some some more cool stuff, <laughs> some really radical hits. You know. <laughs> I'm going to release this episode in 2025 after I've done ten more. <laughs> after you film the film, and you go, "How did Scott Atkin hit the guy in the face like that?" <laughs> yeah. He's fighting himself. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> That'd be cool. Just again, let's just look at this this kick you do against Dustin at the very end. Really great kick. Mm. That's just like you, it's a side somersault, and you're turning it into a downward sort of tornado. Yeah, it's like a tornado, but upside down, like a backflip plus. Yeah. A kick, yeah. It's like a yeah, size some of so. <laughs> Seriously impressive, man. Yeah. So, so this one, the trick to how to do it, right? If anybody watching the episode want to practice, yeah. so you run into it like you would do like a like a traditional um, what like a tornado kick or something like that. What do they call it, right? Inside yeah, crescent like kick. Jump inside crescent, yeah. You sort of, just like a jump inside crescent kick. But as you as you do it, as you go through it, right when you uh, put your both leg down, you you jump back flip. You do a jump back flip, and okay. it end up looking like that oh, okay. because of the momentum. Yeah, so that that's exactly what I did. Same female uh, that we used uh, in the Rebel. Oh yeah, same and girl. I made, yeah, so <laughs> right after the Rebel, one. we made this one. Yeah, same girl. Wow. Veronica. So right after the, uh, the Rebel, we made this one. We made this one on a really tight budget. Uh, yeah. But. Um, well, like the fighting, because it's it's very real and scrappy and gritty, and it's a different style. Yeah, yeah. So uh, with the rebel, it's more like a little more traditional merging. This one is a little more modernized because I like to, you know, choreograph the fight to the story. And this yeah. one is more, you know, modern day. So it's a little more gritty, a little more noisy. <laughs> yeah. Everything is a little bit more messy. Which yeah, works. a little more messy. Yeah. <laughs> She's well armed in this one. <laughs> yeah. She's like, seems like a legitimate action, action star to me now. Yeah, I think she she got a, quite a few uh, roles uh, in uh, big pictures as well. Uh, other films with, um, I think she, the last one she's in is The Old Guard with uh, Shirley Sterden. All right. And yeah, and, and a few other ones. I think now that's made a crazy a move there. What you <laughs> how do you get the other leg around? I can't even see how you're getting the leg around his neck. <laughs> so I'm, I'm just doing a more normal, you know, stepping off uh, the other guy's chest. And, uh, you know, that's basically great. using the other guy as a, as a stepping tool. Like I step off the tree, something like that. Yeah. yeah. This movie, uh, I didn't pass censorship, right? So we never released it. There, there's a private copy on YouTube somewhere, but uh, okay. the actual version, the, the real version, there's an offline cut on YouTube, but uh, the, uh, the actual movie is no, it's never released yet. But I can share with you one. I'd love to see something that I haven't been able to see, yeah? Okay. So uh, I'll walk you through it first. This, uh, uh, I'm on the villain side, right? So, so this is when my character come in and kind of, you know, supposed to kill him, right? But I, I won't, okay. I show the movie, the scene up to almost the final result, right? Of the, of the, okay. of the so we won't, we won't give it out. <laughs> because it's actually not released. Well, maybe, you know, in the future where the censorship rule change in Vietnam, we can get a release. Yeah. But at the moment, it, it's just 
stuck in the boat. <laughs> sensitive to. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know it's it's gang fight and. Uh, oh, the gangs there. Or gang. don't don't want to show that. <laughs> nice kick into the war the wardrobe there. Oh, is the speed? Yeah, yeah. Is it? Oh, nice. Yeah, so that oh, yeah, he, he actually graced me in the face there. <laughs> Seven twenty. Yeah, we get sometimes we kick each other pretty hard, but you know. Oh. I'll show you one. Yeah. <laughs> How many takes to get that to 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 be in the right? Is it one like I accidentally kick him in the neck? <laughs> <laughs> yes, love it. <laughs> There was no green stick on that I wasn't supposed to kick him in the neck. I was supposed to kick him in the chest, but I got so tired. On the other side where he had the padding of the, the, the cushion of the uh, the pad. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, I'll kick him in the neck. <laughs> you know, I like this fight because it, we incorporate kind of everything, uh, you know, from uh, empty hand to like machetes and yeah, Sticks and it. yeah, he's a Taekwondo Sea uh, Game gold medalist. So he's he's uh, you know quite a real deal. Yeah. And I just got him, and I you know we train him for the movie for a few months. I'm gonna put some uh, grabblings in there too. I mean, it's nice because uh, it's it's got realism mixed with a bit of the flash that you need. Uh, <laughs> This and is then we the went inspiration into... from your father and your uncle in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> cool, man. That looks great, man. Such a shame <laughs> that you can't can't get it released at the moment. Yeah, we can't. We can't because um, you know there's certain uh, rules in in censorship work, right? Vietnam is a socialist country, so that that censorship to what's we, what can release and what can't. Yeah. And if we make a police story or a war movie, something like that, then it's okay. If we make something about social unrest, it's not 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 okay yet, you know? Yeah. So we just uh, we just put it on on a shelf for now. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. that, that's what the, that's what drama is, right? Drama is it's problem. My character goes through problems, yeah. you know, and every character have a problem. And as a director, you have all of their problems. <laughs> and then the rest of the crew on top. <laughs> yeah, you know, and timing and the producer, and you know, and there's, there's so much stuff, you know. So um, I don't know. maybe there's only maybe a job point. worse than directing. And that's producing. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, I, I, I produce, I feel stuff, but... Uh, oh, you do. Don't you think. find that stressful? The producing, it for me, is stressful. I haven't directed yet, but I've done enough to, to know Produce. what it would be yeah, like. I, okay, I, I, I get to choose, right? Because when I produce, I don't produce by myself. I'm only hmm. doing creative producing. So yeah, listen, listen, you know, I have another brother who, who does the financial, the distribution, all yeah, that. All that's that the real stuff. headache. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the Leave licensing law, oh, the contract, you know, he, he'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm just, you know, how to help make this page turn into the best possible image kind of producer okay. that uh, that would that's easier you know creative how old are but you it, i'm 47 i'm uh, 47 <laughs> how, how are you feeling physically still still ready to kick kick ass at a moment's notice um Re you ready you know, to I, fill in, in my I movie think, i think i i if i uh train like a month i'll be pretty much back in shape and uh, to, to my uh, prime before, but I don't want to train if there's nothing, you know, like if there's not, not preparing because training is it's a lot of work, right? You don't want to exhaust yourself, but just do very light training. And then only, only for, to prepare for certain things then one or two months, you know, like I do all my other moves is the same. I just prepare a, you know, a couple of months right before the film. And then you get your physique or, and technique to, 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 you know, best. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that's how I approach it, though. You it know, probably, I don't know. It, probably best not to wear down your body for no reason, because ultimately there's a, there's a price to pay from extreme, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, weekly, for yearly, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I kind of approach a film like how a fighter approach a fight. You know, we, we, we train intensely for yeah. eight weeks or so, which brings it to peaks, and that, that's best, you know. But other than that, it's just minor maintenance when we're not doing anything. It's, um, I, I feel that I way stretching. is much you more keep comfortable. Up with your stretching? Uh, no. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, I I live in a dojo. You know, my home it's a it's a MMA dojo, and I train everything uh, for other films and stuff like that here. So we have like a huge dojo here, and every day we have a bunch of you know martial art class, and I just come and I just look. And I'm watching. I mean, I'm not doing everything. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> so in the, it's not Jet Li. Yeah, I'm like, it's okay. As soon as you're yeah, ready to I'm, go, you're good. I'm, I'm doing the Jet Li and Samuel Hung stuff now, you know? <laughs> They're just... Uh, <laughs> well, listen, Johnny, thanks for coming on and, and on to the Art of Action. I've really enjoyed it. I've learned a lot, mate, I, so I really appreciate it. I know that people watching this will appreciate it too. You're a phenomenal martial artist and uh, a phenomenal filmmaker. And if we had enough time, we'd get into the singing and the songwriting as well. But we don't. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, it's, it's uh, fantastic talking to you and meeting you. And I uh, hope we'll, we'll you know, get a chance to run into each other again sometime, yeah. I'd love to work with you, mate. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. You seem like a really nice down-to-earth guy. So <laughs> thanks, Johnny. Thanks a lot. I'll speak to you again. You too, Scott. All right, mate. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, man.